Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fuji's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Now, I've been holding back on this video because everybody else was doing the reviews. In the store currently is this tank, the WZ114. It is a tier 9 collector. Now the thing is this. This one's in the store currently in containers and we'll get to that in the moment. But should you really be looking at this tank? Wow interesting question we already have in tier 9 a heavy tank in the chinese line the wz111 model 1-4 that tank on paper has better dpm than this tank that tank doesn't have as good penetration doesn't have the best alpha damage compared to this tank has a better rate of fire better reload time better velocity not as good aim time better dispersion um, it has worse gun depression but it has better speed and it has similar camo so why should you be looking at getting this tank now when i contrast that with the likes of the e75 the german heavy in the tech tree and the is8 the soviet heavy in the tech tree this wz114 does not have the best dpm in fact it has the worst it has 2160 as i say now the isa has 2796 it has better penetration not as good alpha damage so what is it about this tank now before i get into the tank itself let's have a look at what you need to do to grab your paws on one of these so as i said these are containers so you can see here there's a wide range of them you can get two containers for just over that's about five dollars or you can get three containers for 4,000 gold, seven containers for 10,000 gold, 10 containers for approximately $40, give or take, or 12 containers for 16,000 gold. Now remember, this is a tier nine. So, and it's a tier nine heavy. So that is the cost of it. But the fact of the matter is the following. The drop chance is only 4%. Okay, you will get charms, but if I remember rightly, this one is 30 charms. You work out the math. For you to guarantee yourself the tank, it's going to cost you a lot of redis, either a lot of gold or a lot of cash. Because if I go back to how much you need to spend, you then start to understand how much this tank is going to cost. I mean, 32,000 gold doesn't even get you close. You are still six short. So you're needing to spend somewhere in the region of 42,000 gold. That is a lot of gold for a tier nine, especially when you take into account that the average tier 10 is around 20,000 with everything included. So this one is pricey. Don't misunderstand me on that. It's very, very pricey. Now, obviously, a lot of people are going to think, oh, well, the drop chance is 4%, so maybe, just maybe. Well, I'll give you some word to the wise. I actually got this tank, and the thing is, it took me every single charm. So, yeah, stupidly, I spent a shed load of gold on this tank. And here's the thing. You only get 2 million credits back. Now, the last time I checked... 40,000 odd gold doesn't equate to 2 million credits. So Wargaming are not pitching this one very, very highly. They don't value it that much. So be mindful of that, guys, before you start dropping your hard-earned redis on a tier 9 tank, which, to be fair, you don't really need because you've got the WZ111 Model 1.4 in the tech tree. But more importantly, you've got an IS-8. So bear that in mind. But what's the tank actually like? to play well to be fair it's not that bad but it is not that dissimilar to what you can have in the tech tree already it's an okay tank it's not going to set any records it's not going to set the world on fire it's not broken it's not op it's well mediocre okay it has better alpha damage than the wz in the tech tree the e75 and the is8 but it's not significant it's only 470, whereas the, 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 the Tech Tree 1-1 and the E75 is, two, is 460, and the ISA is 420. 
but the ISA has got a better rate of fire. The ISA has got a better DPM. So when you consider that you can get better tanks in the tech tree, and it's not going to cost you 40 or 1,000 gold, you really must ask yourself the question, do you really need this tank? Or can you wait for it to come around again? Now, I think you should be better off looking for it when it comes around again. You don't need to rush out there. Yeah, I mean, it's been introduced because of Chinese New Year. Yeah, it's got a funky camo. Yeah, it's okay. It's nice to have it in your garage. But I'm guaranteeing you this. This will not be one of those tanks that you will religiously play. It will be played a few times and then you'll keep it in your garage and then you'll dust it off when you remember when you've remembered that you've got it it's not going to be one of those tanks that you're going to be pressing play 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 battle 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 every five minutes it's just not i guarantee you that i'll guarantee you that most players will roll out in the isa a lot more than they will in this and understandably so so be mindful of that guys it's going to cost you a shed load of money for a tank that you don't really need and it will come around again. There's no doubt about it. And this is the thing. Be very careful when it comes to containers. Be very careful when it comes to crates. Yeah, okay, we all know it's gambling and it's this and it's that. I, I'm not here to tell you how you should spend your hard-earned readies. If you want to spend money on containers and crates, that's purely up to you. You know, I'm not here to say don't do it. I'm just here to tell you what you're going to get and how much it's going to cost you to guarantee it. And believe it or not, you're not getting a lot of bang for your buck. Not with this one. Not really. So you really have to take that into consideration. Look, I had a good rollout in this tank. Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed my time in it. I enjoyed playing it. But as I said, it's not one of those tanks that I'm going to be rolling out with religiously. It's not going to be my go-to tier 9 heavy. It's just not. It's just the way it is. In that last game, we got a first class, which was pretty nice. But this is what I'm trying to explain. Okay, we're now in a tier 10 game. We did okay in the last game. But as I say, this tank is really not going to be setting the world on fire. You're really not going to be going, yeah, this is such the best tank in tier 9. I spoke to a few of the guys in the clan and they were like, meh, it's not that good. You know, it's okay, but it's just not good. The armor is weird. The armor is trolly. The gun is not the best. The penetration is a bit iffy. I mean, the ISA has got much better penetration than this thing. And when it comes to tier 10, well, it struggles a little bit. You have to load the Pramo. So not only does it cost you a shed load of gold to get the damn thing to begin with, it's going to cost you a shed load of credits when every time you roll out in it because it struggles against those tier 10s. I mean, the thing is, the shell velocity is dreadful. 810. Now compare that to the WZ111 Mark 1-4, the tech tree version. That's got 930. The E75 is 920, and the IS-8 has 940. That velocity makes a big difference. And don't forget, I've got lots of bells and whistles attachments, you know, and equipment loaded on this thing. And still, you need to load Pramo to sort of pen certain tanks. That's not to say it's a terrible tank. It's not a terrible tank. And it, I would be doing the tank an injustice by telling you all it's a truly terrible tank, because it's not. It's an okay tank. It is not the best. It is not the worst. But it comes in containers, and that's going to cost you gold or real-life cash. And you, okay, you may be one of those lucky ones that you get, you know, you get it dropping the first one or two containers. But if you're like me, it's going to take you a lot of containers. In fact, I, I lied. It didn't take me 30. I didn't get it on the charms. Um, I think I actually got it on 24 or something like that. That's still 30 odd thousand gold for a tier 9 tank that I'm not going to play that often, to be fair. Now look, I like tier 9. I think tier 9 is one of the most balanced tiers. But when I've got tier 10 tanks, and you have to appreciate this as new players, when you've got tier 10 tanks being sold for like between 15 to 20,000 gold, 
Okay, some of them get dished out at 25,000. Then you've got this tier nine, which is being dished out realistically at around 30 odd thousand gold. Then you've got to ask yourself the question, why buy the tier nine when you can buy the tier 10? And that's a big deal, to be honest with you. And um, you know, talking with containers, I, th there's, you know, there's these drawers now. You know, you can get a very, very, very mediocre tier eight tank, the M6 Yo, in the drawer, and that tank's going to cost you eighteen thousand five hundred gold to guarantee you that tank. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Now, I understand the methodology that wargaming employs here containers are good for business you know people will drop gold in cash in order to try and get that tank but personally i would rather they you know, offer these tanks just outright for gold they're not going to do that because then people aren't going to buy them people buy the containers because they think oh if i get it in the first one or two containers it's only cost me 500 gold and you know but by the time you've dropped enough gold for say 10 containers you're going to carry on dropping and dropping and dropping and that's what they're hoping for whereas if they put the tank out there for twenty-five thousand gold then most people say i'm not spending twenty-five thousand gold on a tier nine sod off so that's the thing i mean it whets people's appetites anyway back to the tank i'm not a big fan of this tank as i said it's okay it's not going to set the world on fire you're not going to be absolutely itching your fingers to get your paws on this one to roll out in it we do relatively well there not going to lie about that i mean we did what uh well just over 4k actually we get the mastery we blocked a little bit of damage we destroyed one tank we did okay but that's the thing we did okay we weren't spectacular and this is the thing about the tank it's not spectacular so there you go i mean a not spectacular tank pretty mediocre it's all right but it's not going to blow you away i've been fujit that has been the wz114 the recent container tank to hit the game in tier 9. personally i would caution you against this one but it's your call not mine let me know in the comments below what you think by all means share your views on this one because i've been intrigued to know and until the next time guys stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because at the end of the day that really is what it's all about having fun and being happy